Hi everyone, welcome back to another video from Wesno's Tech News and Reviews. Today we'll be talking about two Amazfit wearables, the Amazfit GTS 4 Mini. So this is the most budget smartwatch in the Amazfit smartwatch range. It's got inbuilt GPS. It does automatic recognition of your sports modes. It's got an inbuilt microphone. And it's going up against the all new Amazfit GTR 4, which is well, the most premium smartwatch in the Amazfit smartwatch range. So 200 pounds or 250 bucks versus 100 pounds or 125 bucks or so. So we're basically saying most budget, the most premium, the difference is double the price. But are they comparable? And which watch actually will add more value to you? That's what we'll be looking at in this review and comparison. So further ado, let's get into it now if you ask me i do like the shape the circular design of the gtr4 it looks like a classic sporty swiss watch it's that good the aluminium alloy i've actually got a gray or silver watch case but actually you can see it's sort of bronzy beige it just looks so interesting it's it looks amazing it looks like a real watch and yet it shows you everything you would expect from a premium smartwatch on the other hand we've got the Amazfit GTS 4 mini so it does have an aluminium watch case but only on the top bit here so if you look at it so halfway the top half of the watch case is aluminium and does give you that premium uh, shiny look while at the bottom is just well plastic but nonetheless it's glossy plastic so it does have an element of premium to it so design wise they're very di different so almost square for the gts4 mini and very round for the gtr4 so what we're going to do in this review and comparison first we'll talk about the design then we'll get into the display and then we'll talk about the features and functions because there are plenty of overlaps in these two watches well considering they're from the same mothership the same brand xiaomi and Masfit. anyways without further ado let's get into the design considering we've already well sort of started on it on the face of it it's quite simple square ish circular now if you look at them close by well yeah the gtr4 looks bigger but when we talk about the displays you'll see that's not quite so which one looks more premium the gtr4 definitely it does look more premium it's got two buttons the gts4 mini has one button now the one button though it is pretty cool because it's got the logo engraved on it the amazfit logo if we'll talk about the actual lugs well they are plastic and that mm, that just doesn't feel too solid to me but then again the straps are the 20 millimeter quick release straps it's got a really cool uh, clasp on here it's sort of like the classic watch type clasp but you still have that really trendy tuck-in feature well does it do anything extra i don't know i don't think so but it looks cool it really holds on well to your wrist even though the lugs are plastic i don't feel that they are not durable so i've had this watch for about six months now and i've well no four months but i've got no complaints the lugs are quite close they're not too far out uh, the strap looks good in it and you don't even notice that much that the lugs are plastic and when you've got it on your wrist the lugs don't stick out too far so it actually suits the look so it's sort of almost premium almost sporty but very neat and tidy that is all about the gts4 mini now let's talk about the gtr4 so with the gtr4 you also get a quick release strap but now it's 22 millimeters also the lugs are metal so of course this watch is much more durable it looks business also you've actually got two buttons so you've got a flat button on the side here so that's your function button you can actually program it to take you to let's say sport modes uh pi uh maybe some stress monitoring whatever page you want to see or app you want to see on the watch now it also has this awesome rotatable crown on the side you will see that the tip is actually red so that's giving it uh, its sporty heritage maybe 
sporty look and um, but the actual crown has these lines on it so it looks like tread like tire tread so very sporty indeed now on the other side uh, of the so the opposite side of the watch case not where the buttons are but on the opposite side there is this little protruding bump now it's there only as a design cue but it changes the watch it just doesn't look as bland as all the other smartwatches out there but it's not just a design cue because under it it's actually sort of hiding and protecting from all the dust and water etc the inbuilt speaker so you see it here right and that's actually pretty cool because you will notice that this watch the gtr4 it's got an inbuilt microphone as well as an inbuilt speaker while the gts4 mini only gets an inbuilt microphone but we'll talk about that when we get to the features and functions in regards to the strap well as we mentioned it's 22 millimeter luckily it does use the classic watch type clasp and we love it because it's just so easy to use that's pretty much it in regards to the design now let's get onto the displays because there's a lot to be said if we just look at the face value the gts4 mini looks smaller but actually it's got a bigger screen 1.65 inches here so it is quite squarish and it has a lot of useful space on its screen well this is a 1.43 inch screen because it is circular obviously you're not gonna have as much usable space what do we want to see in all our smartwatches well we want to look at them and see what's actually written on here in any light conditions well we can do that with both of these smartwatches because they are both AMOLED so both of these AMOLED displays have actually got anti-fingerprint coating as well as they're covered with Gorilla Glass. That means that you're protected from the daily wear and tear. Now, if we look at the sizes of the displays, the GTS 4 Mini looks smaller, like really, it looks really small. But actually, it's a 1.65 inch display. This one here is just 1.43 inches. The difference seems to be quite significant. And that is really because you measure the display diagonally. So considering this is a circular watch, now circular watches, they look great, but you have to understand it's a circle. So the usable space on screen is slightly reduced. While on the GTS 4 Mini, you've got a lot of usable space. You get 1.65 inches diagonally from corner to corner. And that's a pretty large display. Now, if we talk about the contrast, if we talk about the quality of the OLED displays, both are excellent. In fact, the GTS4 Mini, it looks like the blacks are deeper here. But then again, the brightness this thing goes up to is just 500 nits, while on the GTR4, the brightness is up to 700 nits. So it's really bright. And when you do have it in auto brightness, actually both of these trackers have auto brightness so they've got an ambient light sensor and this really does save you battery juice so when it's really dark around you they dim the screens when it's really bright around you the screens light up and you can see everything that's written on there so that's really good you got plenty of downloadable faces for these watches up to 200 with the GTR 4 actually you get about 30 animated faces it's slightly less but more than 10 definitely on the GTS 4 mini that's pretty cool so you can customize them and they always move around they look pretty cool but they drain your battery life so I don't really enjoy using the animated faces too much but it's really up to you let's do a sidestep into battery life so with heavy usage, the manufacturer claims seven days for the GTR 4 and eight days for the GTS 4 Mini. If we talk about typical usage, it's 15 days for the GTS 4 Mini, 12 days for the GTR 4. Real life, slightly different. So I consider normal usage, that's uh, using the watch on a daily basis, sleeping with it, going to the gym, as well as using GPS hours, probably around five to six GPS hours per week. So what I do notice is that the GTR4 lasts me around five days. That's about it. Now with the GTS4 Mini, it usually lasts me around 10 days. So battery life double on the GTS4. 
for many. But back to the displays. If you look at the bezels, well, the GTS 4 Mini does have quite a thick bezel. Again, thick compared to what? To Fitbit Versa or Fitbit Sense? No, then it's okay. But if you compare it to the Amazfit GTR 4, yeah, it does look a bit thick. And considering that the display looks smaller on the GTS 4 Mini, the bezels, well, they look quite distinct. On the GTR 4, the bezels just don't look that thick at all and you don't feel much of it so i would think that in regards to the display the gtr4 actually looks better also let's talk about resolution so on the gts4 mini you get 309 ppi so that's 309 pixels per inch with the gtr4 you get 326 ppi so again a slightly better result there anyways enough about the display both are excellent I can't say that the resolution is way worse than the GTS 4 Mini. It's not. It's uh, maybe around 10% worse, even less than that, about 7%. But really, none of the images on either watch look pixelated. Now let's get into the features and functions. Let's talk about the gaps, the overlaps, because there are a few overlaps. But the GTR 4 just does a bit more and brings more value. Let's talk about it. Smart watches, they're about the smarts and they're about sports, they're about health and fitness. So we're gonna kick off with fitness and lifestyle features and functions on these two smart watches. Let's kick off with sports. So what do you need for sports? Well, first of all, you would like to have some auto recognition of your activities. With the 4 Mini brings to you seven auto recognized activities. The GTR 4 brings eight auto recognized activities. But if that's it for the GTS 4 Mini, there's no more auto recognition. The 4 gets you something special. So let's say you're going to the gym and you're going to have a strength workout. Well, the GTR 4 actually auto recognizes 25 sports in strength mode. So once you set your watch to workout and strength, it will auto recognize uh, the usual activities, well, 25 of them. So curls, pull-ups, push-ups, squats, and the list goes on up to 25. You can find those 25 when you go to the amazfit.com website, and you can actually take a look specifically at the uh, activities, strength activities that this watch recognizes. So it will count your sets, your reps, that's really pretty cool. And when you actually go to the app, so the Zep app that comes with any Amazfit watch, you'll be able to actually see visually which muscle groups were activated during your strength workout. So that is pretty cool with the GTL4. And this is something really new to the market as a whole. Anyways, what else are you interested in when we're talking about sports? Well, let's say you go swimming. So you want the watches waterproof, and they are both waterproof, 5 ATM actually. So you can take them to the pool with you. But what if you're into open water swimming? Open water swimming is when you get to a lake or the sea, the river, and you start swimming. But there, you want to actually calculate your distance because it's not just laps that you're doing. Well, luckily for you, both watches have inbuilt GPS. Now, the GTS 4 Mini, and its GPS accuracy, well, it's so-so. It's about 90% accurate, which is not bad. It's got five satellite networks. That's pretty good. But the GTR 4 beats it. It's got six satellite networks. We haven't tested the accuracy of the GPS here just yet, but by the sound of it, it will be pretty good and better than the GTS 4 Mini. What else do we care when we talk sports? Well, what sport modes and how many sport modes do these support? Well, the 4 Mini supports 126 sport modes. That's plenty. The GTR 4, 154 sports modes. So that's 28 sport modes more. I think 126 is more than enough, but hey, 154, that's pretty good. Now, of course, you do wanna take your watches on your long cycles, your long runs. And sometimes you just don't wanna carry your phone with you. So we know we've got GPS, but what about inbuilt storage? Well, the 4 Mini doesn't get any of that. So the GPS becomes, well, not quite a gimmick. So if you go on a long cycle, yeah, it will measure your distance, but it's not going to keep you entertained. 
The GTR 4 does keep you entertained. It's got 4 GB of inbuilt storage, so you can download music, songs, you can download any other media here like podcasts, um, audio books, whatever you need to keep you entertained on your long walks, runs, cycles and so forth. So that is another big plus for the GTR 4. What else do we care about in sports? Well, how about live broadcasts? So let's say you're out there running and you want to see whether you need to up your pace or lower your pace to be in line with your um, sport goal. Well, you get that with the GTR 4. You don't get that with the GTS 4 Mini. Another interesting thing is that with the GTR 4, you get an inbuilt microphone as well as speaker. And if you don't have any earbuds connected to the watch, that's okay. You can get the live broadcast coming from the speaker on the watch. Now, this speaker can also be used for Bluetooth calls. So let's say you're walking around somewhere on the street, you don't want to pull out your phone, that's fine. You can speak directly into your watch. You've got a microphone as well as a speaker. Now, both of these do connect to Alexa, your AI assistant. That's the Amazon's Alexa. So you do have an inbuilt microphone on the GTS4 Mini. So you can set alarms, uh, record your shopping list, you can ask for the weather, a joke, whatever you may want to. With the GTR 4, it's the AI assistant plus offline voice commands. So you can ask the watch to open up a particular app, to start playing a particular song, to up the volume. There is just so many things you can do with the offline voice assistant. And of course, we've got the speaker, so as we mentioned, live broadcasts, uh, music on board, and of course, you can just have Bluetooth calls with this watch. So again, you get the basic functionality with the 4 Mini, and then you just up 700 levels with the GTR 4. Now let's get on to lifestyle. Well, these two watches do bring with them quite a lot of punch. So things like 24-7 heart rate monitoring, 24-7 stress monitoring. Uh, you get your breathing exercises here. You get all the usual jazz. So things like your timer, stopwatch, weather widgets, all the rest of it. But we won't cover that because that's basic. You expect to get those things even in the most budget fitness trackers. And these are smartwatches after all. So I would like to actually talk about sleep now. So with the GTS 4 Mini, you do get a good sleep monitor. It recognizes your deep light and REM sleep. That's what the GTR 4 does as well. But again, it just takes it to the next level. So now you can monitor your sleep and not just monitor those three sleep stages, but you can also monitor your breathing quality. And that is done through looking at your breathing rate. So how many breaths do you take per minute during sleep? So this, as I can see, works in conjunction with the continuous SpO2 monitor. But again, if you care about the form factor, if you like circular, you like squarish, then you have a good choice here. If you are worried about the price, well, 100 quid for this mega feature packed watch, this is a good watch. Its heart rate accuracy is very good, considering it does use a bio tracker 3.0. Now, the GTR 4 does use BioTracker 4.0, so it's a bit more advanced. And actually, we've done plenty of heart rate accuracy tests with the GTS 4 Mini. The results were always within the 5% mark, and that's for the average as well as for the peak. With the GTR 4, the results were absolutely astounding. They were within 2%, so the accuracy here is way better. But then again, for the casual use, for the general use, does the GTR 4 pack more value to warrant double the price? For me, it does. For you, well, now that you have the full stats, you know what these watches can do, you can make the decision which one is better suited for your needs. Thanks for watching. If you did enjoy it, please drop me a like. If you want to see more of the same, you know what to do. Please hit the red subscribe button below the video, and I'll see you in the next one.